Neil, you were involved in the sale of this VTC 800 here. Just why do you think that they bought this machine? Um, beyond the quality of uh, Mazat machine tools and a UK built product, um, the control system on this machine is using the Mazatrol Matrix 2, a totally um, conversational, user friendly uh, control that provides the flexibility and the simplicity of programming for this five axis machine tool. That's the Mazatrol, but you, you told me earlier about ISO code, you can swap between the two? Correct. The machine, our Mazatrol control system, has the Mazatrol programming language, which is a conversational input system. Uh, on top of that, or behind that, or running uh, aside, uh, beside it, is the ISO side, the FANUC based uh, programming system. Typically, the CAM systems that the company will be using here would post process the code and run on the machine tool. So, does that mean that if there was ISO code from another uh, machine tool that had been generated, you could potentially feed that program into here? Very good question. We often do it all the time, and I major on this uh, with a little bit of top and tail in, a bit of uh, find and replace, text edit, we run that code. This machine in its makeup, let's talk about the hardware, sure. the tra travelling column machine, okay. what, what, why would they have opted for this in your opinion as opposed to a, a standard bigger vertical machining centre? Uh, very good question. Travelling column gives us the benefit of fixed table. Uh, the benefits of fixed table are, are numerous. Uh, we can overhang the table. Uh, I, I use the analogy we can work on the end of a railway line. I can take the end guard off and work on the effective area of the railway line, for example. Uh, we can reconfigure this machine. Um, for example, I can have a fifth axis Sanko unit, I can lay it on its back, put it on a bracket, I can put a central partition in, and then uh, tandem machine by set left and run right, vice versa. And is it, is it a faster machine as well as a result of the, the travelling column? No, it's not necessarily faster, it's the flexibility of the machine uh, that gives, it, gives the operational system, not a service related system, that they can reconfigure. And do you think by having a fixed bed this machine is more rigid in its makeup as well than a machine where the bed moves around? Absolutely, because you've got no, no change of dynamic movement. I could put a, the dynamics of the machine will be set by the travelling column. I could have a workpiece of two and a half kilos up to 2,000 kilos, two tonne, and the dynamics of the machine wouldn't change because it's not moving, it's fixed stable. And this has got a five axis machining capability, correct? Yeah, the VTC 800 in this form is a dash 20, so VTC, vertical, vertical travelling column, 800 being the, be the Y axis, dash two, 20 is two metres in the X axis, and SR, swivel rotary, swivel rotary being the tool movement. We make it five axis by putting a Sanko um, five axis table on. And this is, is this the second machine of theirs, exactly the same that they purchased from you? Correct, and there is another one on its way. And it's not the only Mazax you've got in here too, have you? The, the relationship is obviously quite strong here at Stafford Precision. Absolutely. We put two, two uh, turning centres in, uh, UK built quick turn smart machines and a Veraxis i500. And also here is a Veraxis i700 twin pallet machine with Smooth X control, our latest control system. OK, we're going to catch up with Phil, who's actually one of the owners of the company, and we'll find out why he bought the machines. Thank Super. you very much, Neil. Thank you. Pleasure. Phil, you've got a brand new Mazak VTC 800 here. When did this machine come into the factory? This machine came into the factory in April this year. And it's not the first one, is it? You've got another one, two, two identical, correct? That's right, yeah. That one came in uh, about three months previous. So that must have given you some uh, serious improvements in some way, shape or form to, to pr prompt you on to buy number two. It did, and it kind of goes hand in hand with our expansion. We moved to this building two years ago. Um, our old building was constricting us in uh, the size of machines we could buy. But with the VTCs, we can now go up to two and a half metres and do full five axis work as well. And the, the two and a half metres is an interesting one. Is that why you opted for the travelling column style machine? So the bed was fixed and you didn't have to go for a much bigger machine in footprint to accommodate that travel? Yeah, that was one of the main reasons. And the other reason was it's a flexible machine. You know, we've done a lot of simple work on it as well, but just that the, the bed's long enough to take longer parts because you've also got quite an extensive y-axis, I believe. Is it about eight or 900 millimetres? Yeah, it is about 900 mil. And, and do you get the full use out of the five-axis here, you, or, or, or do you tend to find you're predominantly doing three-axis machining? No, no, in the last 18 months we've moved on. We're doing proper five-axis work uh, for prismatic parts, do a lot of aerospace work. Um, so, yeah, we're using its full capabilities. Do you find them fast machines? You've got a lot of machine tools in, in your factory. I mean, are these ones kind of your highlights when it comes to milling? Yes, they are, definitely. Um, and the, the thing about the Mazak machines as well is we find the service is good and the, and the support. And with the nature of this machine as well, you can put a partition in the middle of the machine to enable you to do machine both sides. Do you do that? We haven't yet, but that was one of the attractions of buying that machine. Yeah. 
and I think because of the speed of the, the travelling column, you'd be able to go from one side to the other quite quickly from a, a rapid movement perspective. Yeah, absolutely. We've got um, plans to manufacture some of the parts which are done on the vertical machines now to basically line them up on the bed of the, the VTC and manufacture them in that way. And with, with Mazak, these aren't the first machines you've bought from them. If you had a few words to say about what else you've got and what you think of them as a, as a, as a supporter of their products, what would you say? I can always say good things. Uh, we bought the first Mazak i500 Variaxis uh, about two years ago. Um, that led us into uh, a different kind of work. Uh, for, we worked on some decent aerospace projects which kind of raised our game in our industry. Um, when we bought the first VTC, as I've already said, that allowed us to go a little bit bigger with the capacity of parts we're making in size. And when we ordered the, the second VTC, the service we had from Mazak was superb. We were, we were absolutely desperate to get some more capacity and actually loaned us a machine which we've now purchased. But yeah, the, to have a commitment from them to give us capacity immediately was absolutely superb. And did, have you, you've obviously been to Worcester, you've looked around the facility, have you been around and seen where the machines are made? And did that help when you first bought your first one? Yeah, it did. I, 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 I guess I didn't um, expect to see so much of the machines being built in-house. So yeah, it, was, uh, it supported our decision to buy from Mazat.